Hello folks, uh, again I have got to the question of, uh, let me write the code here. Uh, let me write the code here, code here, code here. It is 2019, October, November, paper 13, and the question number is 32. And uh, this question is concerned with the chapter electric field. You can see lines of force as well. So a uniform electric field is uh, represented by fiber horizontal field lines. So there are five lines here. So uniform electric field means that the electric field here, 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 strength here, here, here. Here everywhere the value of E is constant. So that means E equal to constant. Constant. So it is said by the language also and it is said by the uh, pattern of the field lines as well. They are parallel. So P and Q are two points in the field. P and Q. The field causes a positively charged particle in a vacuum to move from P to Q. So it says that uh, because of the field, a positively charged particle moves from here to here. So it has to move because it is uh, the field is like this. So here it should be positive, positive, and here it should be negative. So definitely uh, this type of field will uh, exert uh, exert force in this direction, this direction, on any positive thing. So it's okay. Which statement must be correct? So we have to identify which statement must be correct. The first says that the acceleration of the particle between P and Q is increasing. It says that the acceleration is increasing. Okay, let's see. So the value of E should be A should be equal to F by M, uh, the uh, ratio of force experienced by the mass of the particle, and the value of force will be equal to Q V by T, Q V by T, or I can say Q E actually. So it is Q E by M, Q E by M. So that means mass is constant, uh, E is constant uh, everywhere, and Q also is constant. So that means A is equal to constant, A is equal to constant. So the value of uh, acceleration at P and Q should be same. So this statement is wrong because it says the part acceleration increases. In the <coughs> next question, the Ke of the particle at P is the same as Ke of the particle at Q. So in this case, what I can say is, since A is constant, V increases. V increases, increases from, from P to Q. So V increases from P to Q. So that means their kinetic energy also should increase because this Ke is equal to half mv square. So if V increases, the Ke should increase. So Ke here should be more and Ke here should be less. So it says that Ke at both points is same. So this is also incorrect. In the next choice, we have got the force on the particle at Q is greater than the force on the particle at P. So it says the force is more than force here. But let us say force is equal to Q into E. E is same everywhere. Q is same. So force is same everywhere. The force is same everywhere. So this statement is also not correct. The last statement says that work is done on the particle as it moves from P to Q. So work has been done on the particle from P to Q. Yes, it's true because force has been applied and there is displacement in the same direction as the force. Force is here. Force is of course uh, on the positive charge particle. The force will be in uh, this direction, this direction, and there is displacement in this direction as well. So there should be work should be equal to F into S and cos of zero degree. It's because uh, the displacement is exactly in the direction of the field lines itself. So it's equal to F S. Work is happening there. So that's why work is done on the particle as well as P to Q is the correct choice. So pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Uh, <coughs> it is uh, the uh, it is uh, the interesting is actually the question rather than the answer, because. Uh, the question setters have uh, uh, tried uh, their every bit to to to, to uh, check our mental faculties and uh, which we have to succeed if we need to score <coughs> higher.